Welcome from State College, Pennsylvania. My name is Jeff Wells. I'm the Business Development Manager for NDT Sensors and Solutions. Today I would like to talk to you about custom probe and wedge setup on the OmniScan X3. We have a great example of a custom probe and wedge that was recently added to an Airbus procedure for fuselage inspection. We partnered with JetBlue who provided this sample to validate the OmniScan X3 in this procedure. Before we begin, you need to have your data sheets for the wedge on the left and the probe on the right. And then we enter the burger menu on the OmniScan X3. We go to probe and part, probe and wedge manager. Here you have type and series. Type is the type of array or, or transducer that you have. In this case, we have a linear probe. And the series can either be a standard series like A31 or A32 weld series probes, or we can do an identifiable series, in this case, fuselage, to sort all the information that we would use for this inspection. So you would typically start with new, but I'll, I'll go to edit to show you the steps. We use the identifiable fuselage as our series. The model and serial number are provided on the data sheet. You hit next. You add the element quantity, frequency, reference point, and pitch, and hit save. Then we add our wedge, which has similar type and series, and can be sorted in the same fashion. So in this case, we only want to look at fuselage and our fuselage wedge appears. To add a second one, we would hit new. I'll show you through edit. We entered fuselage as the series to identify and sort. The model number was provided. And some wedges are serialized, but this one is not, so we put none. We enter the velocity, the height, the length, and the wedge width. We hit next. We enter the primary offset and the first element. This is a lateral wedge, so we didn't enter a secondary offset or wedge angle. We hit save. And when we're done adding our probe and wedge, we click done. And this is the example of the crack being detected in the fuselage inspection. I hope that you found this helpful, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me or your local technical sales rep. Thank you.